Hi, everybody. Um, morning from uh, beautiful Cullowee here. We're having a uh, wonderful day today, with the exception, of course, of having been locked into my uh, home for close to six weeks now. Uh, but life is uh, life is good. We're carrying on, uh, struggling with uh, many of the same things uh, I'm sure uh, you are, but uh, life will continue and uh, life will get better. Not immediately, because uh, we're making some pretty stupid decisions as a, uh, uh, a community, but uh, things will uh, uh, things will uh, will improve. Okay, so uh, let me catch you up on uh, grading and the assignments, and then I'm going to uh, focus on the uh, final and participation in wrapping up the course. Uh, the last assignment, the communications assignment, was by far the best uh, of the semester. Uh, Half the class, a little over half the class, made <coughs> A's, which are, uh, as I've pointed out over and over, very rare in uh, uh, group work. Uh, but uh, I thought the uh, the efforts uh, deserved it. Uh, it, was, it was clear a lot of work was put into these. I know how much uh, I know that there can also be some extra work associated with trying to do things uh, virtually, and um, I was just uh, real happy. Uh, a quick peek at the, uh, looks like one of them still trying to look. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, here's uh, HubSpot, uh, who was one of the two uh, excellent ones. Um, something's happened here, so I'm, I'm not going to uh, fiddle around uh, with that anymore. Uh, HubSpot and Striker did really, really excellent jobs, two of the best uh, group assignments uh, I've seen. You'll find those in the communications folder uh, as examples now, and I'd encourage you, if you're not in those two groups, to take a look at those because it's going to have some impact on your uh, approach to the final. Okay, uh, as you start your final, uh, return to, this is uh, in uh, Introduction and Resources. And uh, I have some discussions here about grades, uh, what makes a B, what makes an A. So it would be worthwhile reviewing that, especially if you're uh, uh, looking to, to, to make an A in the class. Uh, I guess a lot of pressure is off because if you make a grade lower than your grade point average, uh, you can convert it to an S unless, and this is very, very important, it is a C minus uh, a D or a D minus, uh, D plus. C minus, D plus, D or D minus. Those four grades would convert to unsatisfactory and you would not graduate. And I think virtually everybody in this class is, uh, is planning on graduating. So again, if you make a C minus or lower, keep your letter grade. Do not change it to uh, an unsatisfactory and fail to graduate. Uh, but if you make above a, uh, a C or better and uh, <clears throat> the uh, grade is below your uh, grade point average, uh, I think it'd make perfect sense to convert it to a, a satisfactory. I'd also suggest you return to the midterm and look at the common errors. Uh, they will be resurrected uh, for the uh, final. And so now let's move on to, uh, uh, real quickly here, let me uh, make a comment uh, this morning. Within about an hour and 15 minutes, you will finish the final content. Um, take your test. Um, most of the class has already taken it. I sent out an email uh, earlier today. And uh, anything you want to do between now and the time you turn in your final is up to you. Uh, you should know by now I'm uh, uh, quick at answering emails. Uh, I'll always get them within uh, 24 hours, and usually uh, about half of my emails I respond in, uh, in near real time. So uh, as you finish up your drafts or if you have questions, uh, ask them of me. So what you saw when you went through the Internet Marketing module is uh, Internet Marketing is just another type of communication strategy. And if you want to create a communications plan associated with an Internet Marketing strategy, you're perfectly welcome to. You'll also see uh, I added some optional material on uh, marketing programs. This is the, uh, or I moved it down actually. This was the module we skipped that you may or may not want to uh, go back and review. 
So let's go to final and participation now. And uh, I'm going to slide this up to the top. So I'll always remind you every time you come in here, you have to complete your participation assignment. If you don't participate in this assignment, uh, your participation grade will actually be lowered. And while it's only 10% of your uh, uh, grade, uh, I often find that um, uh, it, it, it represents different behaviors and different things that aren't measured in other ways. In other words, uh, sometimes I'll have students who uh, you know, have been doing a, a decent job, and then I find out from their group members that they've been extraordinary in terms of leadership and participation, and, um, and it makes a difference. <clears throat> uh, people have told me in the past it's not fair to force rank, and by force rank, I mean there's no line, no ties. You uh, cannot say, "Oh, we all did a real good job." Um, and uh, I'm not going to call it unfair, but I will call it uncomfortable. Uh, my first um, really, really uncomfortable chore is a first line supervisor. I had 14 people, and word came down from the top, fire two. And usually with 14 people, that's easy. You know, you got uh, two people uh, you, you, you'd like to have out of there. This particular group, though, was uh, really good. They'd already been culled down. Uh, they were all experienced. They were all performing well in their roles. And, um, and I had to make really hard decisions. So, yeah, this, is, uh, this can be hard, but uh, it is something that you uh, have to learn to do. So do that. Uh, make your comments. Uh, I go through and use those comments uh, along with a couple of other things. One is my observation of you in the first half of class, um, uh, which is obviously less than in a normal class since I haven't seen you since midterm. But I also have a, uh, a tool on Blackboard that allows me to go in and see how much um, time you've spent uh, uh, on Blackboard. And uh, you know, if you're spending two or three minutes uh, per module, uh, yeah, you're not participating. So that'd be a situation where if a group says uh, you're participating poorly and I go check and I find out, sure enough, uh, uh, you haven't been um, engaging in, in the material, uh, that will uh, impact too. So those three things, my observation, your peer reviews, which will be the primary determinant of your grade, and then your access uh, and the amount of time you spent um, in, in Blackboard. So getting to the assignment, individual assignment, seek help whenever you want. Uh, <clears throat> when you begin writing, your work must be your own and you must cite. Um, as I mentioned, cut and paste is okay. It's usually not good, uh, but is acceptable so long as you cite. If you cut and paste without citing, that's plagiarism and that's uh, grounds for, uh, uh, for uh, failing um, the exam. <clears throat> Uh, note here that the assignments you've completed have been about analysis, mostly have been about analysis of past actions. Marketing plan is about the future, and I keep saying that in, in some of my comment to you. This is we making a plan for next year. And for some reason, that usually uh, crystallizes with a communication plan where you're very clearly doing something new. So as you're going back through and thinking about your product and pricing and channels, approach it in the same way you did your communications plan. What are we going to do new? What is going to be different? I'm looking here for your ability to uh, state a strategy based on uh, an appropriate strategy based on the uh, external situation and then to make tactical sessions uh, consistent with that strategy. So about uh, uh, 5,000 words, which is about uh, 10 pages with no uh, exhibits or graphics. Uh, so they will typically run somewhere in 13 to 15 page by the time you get your exhibits and uh, graphics in. Uh, use the same company you used for the midterm. And as you'll notice here, uh, the first three sections slightly rearranged from the midterm, but exactly the same material. In other words, when we do a marketing plan, we'll have an executive summary, then we'll carve out a second um, a section called a situation analysis, and these will become subheadings. 
So there were kind of headings on the midterm. There'll be subheadings now. But if you found your um, grade on the midterm acceptable and I did not make comments uh, recommending changes, then it is certainly fine to resubmit the exact same material. So um, that gets you then to the second half of the class. And as we've been working our way through these uh, four modules, um, you will have your group um, effort and the uh, uh, exemplars to uh, help you uh, do your product pricing channels and communications plans. I also am giving you the optional opportunity, and this is an optional for extra credit. This is optional that um, with some companies there can frankly not be a whole heck of a lot to talk about in these three sections. Um, so you have a company with one or just a few products. Uh, it's a business to business, so you can't see much about their pricing and they sell direct to consumers. Well, there's not gonna be a lot there, but when you get to the communications, the internet marketing, and then marketing programs, um, you'll have plenty of content to, uh, to write, um, you know, half your final, which will be another 2,500 words. Finish it up with your uh, forecast, of course. Okay. So I think that's um, about it. Um, I do uh, regret not getting to see you uh, in the second half of the semester. Um, usually uh, after midterm is when I, I have an opportunity to start walking around and meeting people and, and talking to you and finding out who needs help, who's doing a great job, those sorts of things. Um, but I guess we all didn't expect our last semester to look like this, so um, we'll uh, move on, we'll uh, carry on. Uh, my final comments are going to be, uh, you know, more uh, coronavirus and career uh, uh, planning kinds of uh, issues. So feel free to uh, shut this off if, uh, if you're not interested in those things. So uh, to the coronavirus, um, as you are doubtless aware, uh, I've pretty much been engaged with, uh, with the uh, coronavirus since... Uh, day one, <clears throat> and um, it, it's been kind of incredible to me how little our leaders, um, uh, especially leaders in some of our uh, uh, local uh, states, uh, you know, kind of the, the incredible sorts of mistakes um, they've made. <clears throat> And uh, this does the best job, I think, of pointing that out. Uh, Georgia and North Carolina have virtually the same population. North Carolina has a few hundred thousand people less out of a population of around 10 million. Uh, Georgia has 22,000 uh, <coughs> um, cases and um, Let's see, we got well over a thousand now, uh, I think over a thousand now fatalities. Uh, North Carolina has uh, about a third as many cases. Same population, a third of the cases. What's the difference? Well, the difference is uh, political leadership. Uh, our governor shut the state down maybe two weeks earlier. And uh, Georgia is opening back up. It's the most insane thing I've ever seen. Uh, you know, you really question um, uh, everything about uh, the decision-making process. Uh, what that's going to mean is it's going to screw us up, too. I mean, Georgia's going to have uh, uh, breakouts again, uh, barring some miracle, because so far it doesn't look like uh, the coronavirus is going to have a flu-like um, seasonality. In other words, uh, that warm weather is going to knock it down. Uh, you know, Georgia's going to be rolling with cases again, and they already have some horrible instances in, in the very rural areas, which is what's kind of scary about here, because we're isolated out in Jackson County, uh, seven cases so far, 
But if you ever have a widespread uh, infestation, as, as I pointed out um, back before midterm, you know, we don't have the hospitals to, to, to deal with that. And uh, uh, those of you who move back to more uh, populated areas uh, are probably um, in, in the right place now. So a uh, career rise, uh, you know, I've got uh, two kids. My uh, son's uh, 22, uh, plan to be uh, working by now. And uh, excuse me, he's 21. And uh, I have no idea when he'll be able to get a job of any kind. You know, right now he's having to pick uh, uh, places to work to lessen his chances of infecting us and bringing home a disease. Uh, <clears throat> So, um, yeah, times are, are, are going to be tough. Uh, I said in January this was the best job market that I'd ever seen for uh, young people. And, wow, uh, did the world uh, slap us upside the head. So uh, what do you do? Uh, you, you know, uh, hopefully you have a home you can go to and hunker down. That's always been our deal with our kids, would uh, pay for any public school in North Carolina that they were able to get into. Uh, and uh, they were both admitted to, to Chapel Hill, so uh, we were really happy about that. Chris ended up going to, to Western for other reasons. <clears throat> but we also said, you know, uh, if we have to, we'll take you in and we'll uh, feed you. And hopefully uh, you have some family that will uh, be able to do those things for you. If not, uh, uh, it's going to be very challenging. And, um, uh, and you wait. Uh, we need a vaccine. We need a cure. Best timeline now is fall of 2021, about 18 months out. Uh, so the economy, I don't see how anything the government can do or anything the world can do is going to keep it from limping uh, for at least that 18 month period. And uh, so, you know, uh, putting together and stringing together uh, gigs and jobs and places to make a few bucks and continuing to search for that good job. Uh, but also, uh, you know, giving a thought to some graduate schools, some of the online programs perhaps, um, where you can get some more uh, training. Uh, there's a lot of online training in uh, digital marketing right now that might be interested to you. And uh, much of that work can be done virtually. So uh, those are kind of the best uh, suggestions I have. Uh, while in January it looked like the best time ever, this is probably... Uh, the worst time ever, even worse than the uh, folk who were graduating in 2008 after the crash. Uh, only took us a, a year or so to start recovering at that point, and uh, I'm afraid this one's going to be quite a bit longer. So uh, we'll pray for ourselves, and, um, and, uh, and I'll certainly say a prayer for uh, you folks. If uh, you're religiously uh, uh, oriented, uh, feel free to share uh, your prayers with the rest of us. I'm, uh, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Um, let's be patient, uh, let's be kind, let's seek opportunities to do things that make the world a little bit better, and uh, we'll get through this. Feel free to uh, email me or um, uh, we can schedule a phone call if you'd prefer to do a phone call. As I said, you can send me a final, but uh, if you have other questions or uh, you're having problems of other kinds, I'd be happy to, uh, to talk with you. Otherwise, um, uh, look forward to a uh, happy virtual graduation and uh, maybe seeing you eventually back on campus uh, uh, marching. <laughs>